Okay. Hey there, thanks for clicking on my face. Today we are going to color my hair with Overtone, which is not technically hair dye. It's a deep conditioner with color deposits. But I, I have wanted to try going Auburn for a very long time, and I'm finally gonna try it, but with an option that doesn't require the same amount of commitment as regular hair dye. I have hair commitment issues. <laughs> My thought with this is if I hate it, you can just let it wash out. So we're going to do Vibrant Orange on my medium brown hair. And I wasn't going to record this, but when I was looking online for examples of this color on my hair color, most of what I found was people that already had like strawberry blonde hair or a really light brown. And my hair is kind of just in the middle. So I thought for the rest of y'all medium brown hair people out there, um, hopefully this can give you an idea of what it'll look like. So my hair underneath is like this dark-ish, darker ash brown. And then on top, I guess it's been lightened by the sun, so it's got some highlights and like lighter areas. But I'm really just hoping for more of an auburn tint to my hair. It sometimes has like reddish tints depending on the light, but I really want to go like full hints of auburn, which is kind of an oxymoron. Full hints, whatever. So the first thing I'm gonna do is follow the directions and actually do a strand test, which if I had done strand tests all the other times I box dyed my hair, it would have been a lot less damaged as a young adult and adolescent. So the instructions are, Using gloves, apply evenly to dry hair. This strand is gonna end up like double dyed, so I don't want it to be like super obvious. Let's go with this right here, sure. Oh my gosh, I can just do like an 80s side pony. Charles will be so happy, he wishes I wore my hair like this. <laughs> there we go. I haven't opened this yet. It's been sitting in my apartment for a week, but I haven't opened it. It's an interesting smell. I think that'll do. It smells like minty. I'm not sure if I like it though, but then again, I'm one of those few people who's not big on peppermint. Can I pin this just across my head? We're gonna do that, that way it's out of the way. This is a look. All right, so I'm gonna go put my laundry away and set a timer for 15 minutes, and then we'll see how the strand turns out and go from there. It. Okay, so strand test is done. Um, my hair refuses to dry, so I this is as good as it's gonna get. Um, and honestly, it's really hard to tell. I think I see like a hint of orange, which is fine. That's kind of more what I want anyway. So I think it's it's really subtle. Okay, so if I lay it against the rest of my hair, it's it's less mousy. <laughs> which probably doesn't show up on camera, but I can kind of tell, I can tell against the rest of my hair. It's, you know, just oranger, which is what we want. So again, this is my hair before, mousy brown underneath, um, kind of highlighted on top. So here's from the back, which my hair looks like crap because I don't do anything to it, but that's what we got. This is what we're working with. So, all right, let's just dive in. I'm gonna separate my hair into two parts. I don't have a lot of hair, it's relatively thin, so I don't think I need to section it too much. Okay, I decided to switch to a black shirt that comes up a little higher, and I turned it inside out just because I do like that orange t-shirt and I would like to keep it um, in decent condition. So, here we go again. back of my neck. 
All right, so the color is on. I'm gonna set another timer for 15 minutes. Um, I'm probably gonna use some rubbing alcohol to try to get the color off of my neck and my arm and in my scalp here. But yeah, then I will rinse it out. Um, since my hair takes such a really long time to dry and it's already very late, um, I'm probably just gonna go to bed and then I will show you guys how it turns out in the morning. Fingers crossed that this does not look ridiculous. Um, it's definitely orange. Uh, I hope that washes out. That's part of the problem is like, my hair is very wispy right here, so I can't really get to my roots without also attacking my scalp with orange. So we'll see. I'm gonna just hang out and hope that this isn't horrible. Ooh. Okay. Okay, it's the next day and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I see a little bit of, you know, reddish orange hints. Um, but it really is pretty subtle. I can see it really, really bright in this one spot over here where, I don't know, either this spot was very highlighted or I just saturated the mess out of it, who knows. But then I also missed a few spots, I think, just all around my head. <laughs> it's a little spotty. Um, I guess I'll have to see how it looks in daylight too and, and decide how I feel about it. So overall impression, it's okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um, the good thing is, you know, it will, supposedly, <laughs> it is supposed to, you know, rinse out. If I just stop using it over time, it should fade. But I think, I think I like it enough to keep it for a little while. I think what I'll do is just see how this goes for a week, um, you know, after I've washed my hair a couple times and then let you know how it's doing after that. So it's been one full week since I used Overtone, and eh. I've only washed my hair twice since using it, and the first time I washed my hair, so much orange came out in the water. At first I thought, you know, maybe I didn't rinse it out all the way at first, you know, when I first used it last week, but I was pretty thorough about getting it out of my hair after the initial application. So... It definitely had a reddish orangey hue for the first couple days, but then once I washed my hair, a lot of it came out. I will still see little hints of an oranger tone in certain lighting, but it's really just not there anymore. Um, granted, my hair is darker, so it's not gonna show up super bright to begin with, but I guess I thought it would stick around a little bit longer. So overall, um, I don't hate it. It was fun to have like a temporary change of tone, but I don't love it either. I think what I would use this for in the future is if I do ever go full on auburn redhead, which I would really love to do, I think I would use this more to maintain that color and keep that vibrant. Um, trying to just change my color as it is, um, I don't know if it's just the way my particular hair is, or if it's the product that it just, it didn't stay. I don't know if that's because my hair is too damaged or not damaged enough to keep the color. Who knows? At this point in time, I won't be purchasing it again, but I am gonna use up what I bought and just, you know, enjoy the fun color change for the fall, I guess. Um, so would I recommend it? I don't know, depends on what you're looking for but I wouldn't not recommend it. Again, it really depends, you know, what are you going for? I think if you're looking for a legitimate change of hair color, this is probably not the best product because again, it it all came out after one wash or at least 90% of it. So overall impression, it's a solid meh. Thank you for joining me on this hair adventure, I guess. Hopefully this helps you make your decision about the product if you were considering it and let me know if you have any thoughts about the product as well if you've tried it especially if you have a similar hair color to mine maybe there's a tip or a trick that i didn't try that would work better in the future so thank you for watching and i will see you next time <laughs>